Hey, mate! Hey, you can see it. Oh my god. These girls yeah, have me speak right. around you? No. Well, you're shorter than I thought, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you guys. All right, at RIT Podcast, Diesel here with Mr. Earl Gray. What time is it right now? Because my my, my clock is off. It's 7.11 in the morning. 7.11. Sun is coming up. We have a special store in America called 7.11. You know that? Yeah. All right, well, yeah, this has been a useful experiment. It's like a scientific experiment. I say, man, people get together, hang out, even they have some big differences. I'm a Christian. This dude's a godless, heathen, atheist. But, uh, you know, we can get along, man. Still respect each other for mm. different positions. Mm. What do you think? Mm. You have a good time this weekend? Oh, great. It's been a good 24 hours. Shame. We yeah, 24 longer. hours. You've got a lot of stuff to do and you've got a lot of people to see. So. Where are we at right now? We just saw where America, where America was created from Plymouth. Right the way from, from the Mayflower Steps, yeah. mate. You visited that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that big ship sailed yeah. from there. Not that long ago, if you look at the history of civilization, it wasn't yeah. that long ago yeah, that really. big lump of wood left. Right. And started all 500 this. years ago. So, so I don't know. Can you give me a tips on what do you think, like, is a key to, like, being able to be friends with people who have different views? I mean, one thing... I would say with the podcast that I'm really, uh, that I will brag about is that like 15 atheists have trusted me with their address all over the world. So I've been able to send some uh, pretty cool packages out with some Korean gifts and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think if you can respect each other and respect difference. I mean, I, I really do like a difference in of opinion, having different uh, ideas and views and stuff. But, you know, what do you think? You got any thoughts? Uni is what changed it for me, and I think that that kind of environment, as we said, we drove past uni, um, uni university, university, and, and integration uni. and mixing from a young young age. As long as you're mixing with people, you won't fear them, and I think that's uh, that, that's going to solve most of the problems. I think. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you had mentioned earlier about fear, like what that can do to people. Fear. Can you elaborate on that? Well, it makes you it makes you behave differently, doesn't it? it doesn't, and it and it makes you, you some people that that don't that can't integrate with other people. They don't even know that they fear them. They don't even realize. I mean, if they were to mix with them, right, it would be a natural thing. But yeah, you know, yeah, it wouldn't be conscious sort of choice. I mean, do, do you know a band called Mike and the Mechanics? Yeah. Okay, so you ever heard that song, "The Live in the Living Years"? Yeah. Well, I, he has. I actually I quote that book a lot. I quote that movie. Great band. I quote that band a lot in my book, uh, this book on racism that I'm doing right now. But he has a great line in there. He says that we all speak a different language, speaking in defense. And uh, it's it's very specifically he's talking about the relationship to his father. Mm. It's what the song is about. Mm. But uh, I think you can take that same principle and, and apply. It. You know, when people start attacking you on a personal level, your character. Um, you know, your intelligence. I mean, I, I'll, t I'll tell you seriously, because we met in one of these atheist groups and stuff, and then we just started talking and started hitting it up. That was like two years ago, man, seriously. It's about two years ago. But um, we talked for a while, and then you came on. But, um, you know, if you see in the, those groups a lot of times, people just, I mean, you disagree with someone, and they'll call you just right off the top an idiot, you know? Mm. I mean, one time, this dude called me at, like, I, I disagreed to something he said, and he's like, blah, 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 you cuck. And I'm like, what's a cuck, man? I looked it up online. I'm like, what is me, you know, disagreeing with you have to do with me watching my wife having sex with another guy? I'm like, what what does that have to do anything, you know? You were you familiar with that word cuck? <laughs> yeah, now you know, right? I, n I never heard of it either, so don't feel bad. But <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I don't know. When you do disagree with someone, like, What's what's a good way? What's a good way to try to navigate that? What do you think? Any thoughts on that? Well, just trying to understand their their perspective, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Try and relate as much as possible. I think most of the time, people people, especially anger. If you fall out with someone and they're angry, mm -hmm. they've got some they've got some reasons there, and less focus on the on the anger and more focus on what. Where the, where the feelings are coming from that are generating mm. it. Yeah. 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 
Well, um, I'm getting ready to go bomb. Um, Birmingham? Yeah, Birmingham. I, I really want to see panic on the streets of Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham. And I'm going to go over to Carlisle, do a bomb there, and then London. So, I told you I'm a big Smith fan. Right? If it, if it wasn't copyright, I'd put it uh, in the background here. I don't want to get demonetized, but I uh, love the Smiths. We were just listening, who were we just listening to? Um, Liam, Oasis. Oasis. Liam Gallagher. Okay, he's, he's solo. Yeah, yeah. Listen to Queen. I'll tell you this, we probably have better music overall in general than the UK, but I think rock is one genre you guys definitely got us beat in. Right? Damn I mean, rock, like rap, there's really no... And you guys even have rap here? Hmm, not really. Yeah, I would say, because if, you, if you're trying to rap and you have yeah. like a British accent, you're like, you know, yo, street. mate, I bust you in the bloody, in the bloody chops, chop. Like, it's just not going to sound very hip or popular, you know what I mean? The streets, <laughs> have you heard of the streets? No. That's, well, there you go, that's probably about as good as our rap gets. Yeah, because, well, you know, you know rap, you got to, you got to give this like thuggish impression. Hmm. The accent is, everyone's going to take you like way too uh, seriously. Too civilized. Yeah, yeah too civilized. Yeah. All right, man. But seriously, I had really great time. I've only, I was only here 24 hours. Maybe try to come back through. Actually going to meet another guy. Just tell you real quick, the guy from Birmingham. Man, he started messaging me, right? And we started talking. This guy was like really, really abusive. Like really abusive. And so I'm like, hey, come on my podcast, right? Um, and so he comes on. And I just, I do what is like a friendly fire round, right? The friendly fire round is just ask a bunch of random questions. And he got like totally disarmed by that. And so um, when we started like, you know, talking, he, he like really, you know, we, we, we really went getting along. He went sitting me his address. I sent his kids, his grandkids, uh, some gifts and stuff. So I'm getting ready to go meet him right now. But, you know. I would say that, I mean, you don't have to send anyone gifts, but I think kind words and respect, uh, those are like the greatest gifts that you could give someone, you know, the, the benefit of the doubt, you know, you can, we so quickly want people to see our intentions or um, our thoughts, even when we mess up, you know what I mean? And we're so quickly not to give uh, people the same kind of level of respect and trust and goodwill that they're, hey, they're just apes on this planet trying to navigate and, um, you know. So I'm about to get ready to get going. I have a little book to read. What was the book you gave me? Um, the Selfish Gene. Selfish Some gene. education for you, mate. <laughs> By a godless Some scumbag. Uh, uh, Docking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, man. That was, uh, I mean, seriously, I can't think enough, man. It's a great experience. All right. No, Signing off. Really RG Podcast. small hands. Huh?